Hi, today we're going to be talking about the different types of quadrilaterals. Let's get started. So remember, quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon, and it comes from this root, which is quad, which means four. So it's a quadrilateral or a four-sided polygon. So let's start off with the parallelogram. The parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has two pairs of parallel sides. Okay, so let's dissect this parallelogram. Here's a parallelogram. Realize that this side right here is parallel to this side right here. That's one pair of parallel sides. And then this side right here is parallel to this side right here. So that's two pairs of parallel lines. Now realize that this parallel line and this parallel line are congruent, which means they have the same length. And this parallel line and this parallel line are also congruent, so they have the same length again. Okay, so basically the parallel lines are congruent to one another. So these are congruent and these are congruent. Now also realize that these opposite angles are also congruent. So th this angle right here is congruent to this angle right here. And this angle right here is congruent to this angle right here. Okay. Well, now let's move on to trapezoids. Trapezoids have one pair of parallel sides. So if we look here, this side is parallel to this side. Okay, simple enough. Now let's look at a trapezium. A trapezium has no pairs of parallel sides. Nothing much to dissect here. So basically, a parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides. A trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides. And a trapezium has no pairs of parallel sides. Now let's look at... Let's delve into parallelograms. So we're going to look at the rectangle. The rectangle is a parallelogram with all right angles. So if we look at closer, it has the same properties of a parallelogram. This side is congruent to this side and is parallel to this side. This side is parallel to this side and is also congruent. But realize, in, and again, the opposite angles are congruent, but realize all of the four angles are the same. They're all 90 degrees. So this angle is equal to this angle is equal to this angle, which is equal to this angle. So that's really cool. Now the rhombus is a parallelogram, but instead of equal angles this time, it's equal sides. So again, it has the same properties as the parallelogram. The opposite angles are congruent to each other. And this side is parallel to this side, and this side is parallel to this side. And this side is congruent to this side, and this side is congruent to this side. But realize all four sides are congruent to each other. So this side is equal to this side, which is equal to this side, which is equal to this side. So that's really nice, okay? Now we're going to look at a hybrid. And hybrid is a square. So the square is a rectangle and a rhombus. So it has right angles as all of its angles, and all of its sides are congruent and this side is parallel to this side, and this side is parallel to this side. So a square is a really, really special type of parallelogram. It's a hybrid between, or a cross between a rectangle and a rhombus. Now it really helps to look at this um, Venn diagram. So we have this big box of quadrilaterals. There's three um, sets. There's the trapezoid set, there's the trapezium set, and there's the parallelogram set. Now if we zoom in on the parallelogram set, there's the rectangle, there's the rhombus, and in the intersection between the rectangle and the rhombus, there's the square. Okay? Um, also another popular figure that you may know, it's the kite, and realize that the kite would belong in the trapezium. Okay, so I hope that helped, and I hope to see you soon.